The uh, oral history uh, project that we're doing for writing, research, and technology uh, leads us into cracking open that book on oral history, um, and it has us visiting a few websites like the Oral History Video Archive on YouTube and the StoryCorps. Um, all with valuable inf information, whether I enjoy the actual production or I use it for my benefit when I'm making my own project. Um, it's all useful in some way to me. Um, the Oral History Video Archive on YouTube seemed to hold a lot of immigration uh, histories, which is always an interesting topic. Uh, the trials and tribulations that our foreign ancestors had to endure to get into America and to get us where we are now. Um, and how, I don't want to say willy-nilly, but how, how different that whole process was um, than how we would expect it to be. Um, they also had a bit on mental and physical illnesses. Uh, I think I saw one on asthma, Down syndrome, uh, but these things, I don't have family members involved in except for one grandmother who immigrated, but I don't think I'm going to see her before the rough draft is due. The StoryCorps website, uh, from what I saw, was all audio. Um, but I found I found it still interesting just the base the base layout of picking a good topic and having your subject be able to talk about it for long enough. Um, the one story that stood out a lot to me was about uh, an older man who held seances to try to contact Harry Houdini um, which got me to thinking about my idea. Um, which originally was going to be interviewing my parents about family-owned businesses. My mother has a family-owned business uh, that she started. But I would be more concerned with the businesses that they frequented as a, as a child that are no longer there and were bought out by bigger corporations, like uh, family sub shops and this delicious meat pie uh, bakery that my mom would go to. And I think closed down when I was around 12, so that's when I stopped having them. But I can, I can attest that they were delicious. Uh, but after, after hearing the seance audio, I thought that doing something on the paranormal would be very interesting. So I'm going to do alien sightings and UFO sightings. Um, Glassboro is a fairly open, has a fairly open landscape, so seeing saucers in the distance is not unlikely. Um, I know I can find many people who are willing to share their stories on Craigslist. Um, I'll obviously bring a partner so I don't get kidnapped or anything um, by real people. Uh, aliens. Uh, I know we have the South Jersey Paranormal Research uh, Organization, um, which I'm sure can hook me up with certain uh, things. I could also spread this into Philly where you know, all the nutballs live, and I'm sure there's I'm sure there's someone there who's just got a real zany story about uh, aliens. Aliens and saucers, but it's interesting to me. So I actually, I know I say nutballs, but I'm actually curious as to what these people have to say and the stories that they have because I find it very interesting. So.
so it won't be hard to get a real grasp on this project.